what I'm going to start out with is what I've been starting out with a lot lately. Um, is reading a short essay from the complete works of Enrico Malatesta. Uh, the essay I have picked out to read today is page and a half. Um, it's called Protest Candidates. It was written in March 14, 1897. And you can, it's available from the Complete Works of Malatesta, Volume 3, which is available through AK Press, if you feel so inclined. But it reads as such. Our comrades in Rome are nominating our friend Luigi Galliani, who who is in forced residence as candidate, and it seems that other protest candidates have been nominated elsewhere. It is hard and painful for us to be open and blunt about our opinion. When men whom we respect and like, who have done much and will do much more still for our cause, are in prison or in forced residence and a way of getting them out is presented, how does one go about saying, no matter how distasteful the means, no, let them stay inside? Nevertheless, we shall steel ourselves and make no bones about our thinking. If others find us too uncompromising, let them forgive us on the basis that we too have done our time in prison and in forced residence. We are always at risk of going back again, and we can be strict with others because we know that we would be equally strict with ourselves. As to our candidate friends, they will certainly forgive us, for they will be cognizant of our motives. Indeed, some of, them know, some of them we know to completely agree with us on this matter. Protest candidacy, especially when one can be sure that the person elected will not be going on to play the deputy at any pr price, is not ipso facto at odds with our principles, much less our tactics. But it is nonetheless leaving the door open to equivocation and compromise. It is the first step on a slippery slope where it is hard to keep one's footing. If one wants to vote for a protest candidate, one needs to be a voter, meaning that one needs to register, and whoever does not register is neglectful in not preparing the means to achieve his ends. One more step, one small step, and we too, aping the socialists, will be saying, you cannot be a good anarchist, if you don't register as a voter. And once registered and with no protest candidate handy, there is a strong temptation to go and vote all the same, as a favor to a friend or to strike a blow against an adversary. We are all human and it takes so little to pop a ballot into a ballot box, experience teaches. Then there is the matter of the performance of the person elected. Have you heard Merlino? Remember yesterday's essay? He has already put his fingers on the flaw in the reasoning and says to us, once you have yanked Galliani out of forced residency by making him a deputy, is he supposed to stand down so he can be sent straight back into forced residence and provide you with the entertainment of rescuing him again? Our we are sure that Galliani, were he to be elected, would not heed for Montesiterio or would drop in for just a moment in order to spit on his contempt into the face of the deputies. But even so, this time Merlino has it right. Then again, would they all be of the same stuff as Galliani? Protest candidates have given us back a number of comrades and we heartily rejoice at that but we cannot blind ourselves to the fact that they have done our party a very great wrong. Putting Cipriani up as a candidate, for instance, succeeded in freeing him. But in order to do so, it smuggled parliamentarism into the Romagna and shattered the anarchist unity in that region. Not that we intend any slur upon the Rome comrades, on the contrary, we understand and appreciate their unselfish motives. 
We just deplore the fact that our party is in such a sorry state that it cannot do anything better on behalf of our prisoners than have recourse to the lame, dangerous stratagem of protest candidacy. Let us strive. Let us propagate. Let us organize, and then we will be able to elicit much more telling and much more effective displays of public opinion and support of our people than elections. Rico Malatesta, protest candidates, March 14th, 1897. So he's not necessarily saying, you know, you're the scum of the earth if you try to, you know, run as a protest candidate or say a propaganda candidate, you know, running for a, a, running a campaign for office as an open protest to that office and to that body with which you want to be elected to. Right. But once again, he's he's warning. He's saying Maltes is telling us that um, there's all these steps and all these different things that you're going to have to do in order to facilitate that process, not only as the candidate, but as the supporters of that candidate. And I don't, he didn't really necessarily come right out and say it, but all of that is a huge distraction from achieving the larger goal, which is, you know, educating the workers to the nature of their disposition so we can end this fucking capitalism right here. <laughs> 